Hello everyone, Miles of Adoration here. I have uh, been going through this 12-step recovery process and uh, this is my third vlog for the process of going through these times of searching my past, searching my situations that I've been through and and uh, seeking to find uh, a level of uh, closure and things that I've gone through in the past so that I could put the past behind me and move on to the next thing. Um, move on to uh, what's in front of me or what's uh, in the moment. Um, I've always wanted to be able to be very uh, careful to give my uh, my all and my complete self to God as a servant of His and to uh, lay down my life in terms of uh, becoming vulnerable and becoming... Uh, more uh, obedient to God through uh, being willing to lay it all out there, basically. And now when I say lay it all out there, there will be certain things in these vlogs that I will not talk about just due to um, the private nature of such things. But I do believe we all have various uh, things in our lives that are uh, considered to be personal or considered to be things that we wouldn't share with just anyone. Uh, we all have, have things that we would share only with our close friends or family. Um, uh, so there's not a lot of things that, uh, that I will uh, be that uh, uh, private about. But at the same time, the, the, the things that I want to talk about are mainly the things that God has done in my life to bless me and to draw me out of a place of brokenness and despair where I could actually step outside of the box and see, okay, wait, there's a real world out here that I can experience and that I can uh, that I can uh, enjoy in, in, in the lens of grace, in the lens of uh, God's uh, covering of protection over me and all the things that I do. So I do desire to reach out and I do desire to share myself with the world when it comes to my story, but there are certain things that I will keep hidden um, just due to the fact of the sensitive nature of certain things that I've been through, um, including the um, the uh, the uh, mentioning of people in my life. This is only about me and only about me and God in the sense that um, that's what I want to share. Now, there will be things that I'll share that are um, uh, experiences that I've had uh, that have resulted of interactions with people, but those uh, experiences that I'll have, that I've had, will be um, in terms of uh, things I've experienced as a result of the, the relationships I've had in the past, uh, but things that are always under the lens of God's grace and His interaction with me as a, as a sinner um, and me being a sinner and Him being my Lord who I'm looking to for healing. Uh, so I, with that being said, today I uh, went to Celebrate Recovery 12-step. Uh, it's my third meeting and of this group, and um, I have uh, basically uh, just been really thankful uh, for the process um, and thankful for uh, God's mercy at work due to the fact that I have become more aware of denial I've had or more aware of real realizations of uh, things in my life that uh, maybe are under the surface that I haven't quite realized yet or uh, problems that I've had or uh, maybe deficiencies of moral character that I've had that I didn't realize I necessarily did have as much. Uh, I want to be more aware of God's workmanship in wanting to dr draw out those things and to uh, bring those things to the surface and to uh, cleanse me of them. And, and I know that only by the blood of Jesus Christ am I have do I have any possible way of being cleansed or forgiven for any of my sins. But through the cross of Jesus Christ, I can be free and I can be alive and I can be well and, 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 and active and vibrant in my life with Christ. So uh, I... I do desire to uh, work through these issues of denial. Um, you know, the, the, the steps talks concerning principles and steps of the first step and first principle talk about, um, you know, that being, be willing to admit, to admit that uh, our lives have become unmanageable uh, and that the uh, difficulties that we face regarding our uh, hurts, habits, and hang-ups have caused us um, grief or has have caused us difficulties in realizing that uh, that yes our lives are um, uh, 
can be considered unmanageable apart from the grace of God and the workmanship of God in our lives to draw us out of those things. So I'm putting behind me the old things, but at the same time, I'm wanting to uh, draw near to Christ and let Christ uh, teach me and show me this pathway into new peace and this new uh, joy that I have uh, the, the pleasure of being receiving um, in my relationship with God. Uh, so I'm thankful. Uh, I did the did the first uh, principle today, and uh, with that being said, I I uh, really do feel like sharing my answers and sharing my thoughts about it. Um, you know, just basically the things that I have uh, a tendency to uh, not be able to have very much control over, or things that I do have control over. Those uh, two issues are things that can kind of come together and and kind of you know interact in different ways, such as like. Uh, you know, do I have a control over my finances? Do I have control over, um, you know, what I want to do with my time, my uh, activities, my recreation? What am I controlling that's uh, holding me back from God? And what am I willing to let go of to lose control over for the sake of God's mercy and His uh, gospel being brought forth in my life more and more? So, um, and that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. I want to see God's changing me. In, in my life to be something that would then in turn go and help other people to uh, see the power of God at work in, in their life potentially as well. So anyways, with that said, um, you know, this is my third vlog and I will uh, be talking to you, all, you guys another time. Thanks.